So, I got another house review for you. This one is on the house of English Laundry. So get comfortable, because this is gonna be a long one. You wanna see what I got from this house? Well, you gotta come back and I'll tell you all about it. What's going on, everybody? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, man. I hope everybody's having themselves a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I'm enjoying this pretty weather. I'm spending some time with your family. Whatever it is you do on this holiday. Thank you. I think this is a day that we should all be thankful. Let me get my camera situated. I don't know why I don't do this beforehand. There we go. How's that? Good? Okay. Before I even start this video, listen, if this is your first time coming by my channel for whatever reason, you're just not happening upon it, hey, that's fine. I'm glad you're here. Second of all, if I earn it, please consider giving me a sub. For all of, for those of you who are repeat Tracent Nation guys and are constantly watching my videos and being active in the comments, thank you and I salute you. Appreciate it. Without y'all, we wouldn't have this channel. Enough of that. Let's get into it. English Laundry is a very interesting house for me. Um, to me, it's one of those houses, much like John Barbados, that if you catch it at the right price, you get a really good fragrance for the money, or at least I think. If you overpay for this, then, well, you've overpaid because these fragrances range anywhere from 100 bucks to 12. That's right, $100 to $12. So be careful when you're buying these fragrances. I've been collecting them for quite a few years um yeah for quite a few years i have 11 or 12 no further ado let's get right into it the first one that i ever purchased from the house of english laundry is royal aqua and i talked about this one the other day in a video that i did i can't remember what video it was old age creeps up on you nonetheless i really like this fragrance this is a beautiful fragrance what this is as is a floral aquatic a little bit of rose a lot of aquatic very nice fragrance great for this time of the year spring summer fall warm weather type of fragrance uh think in the warm weather you can wear it whether it's in the daytime or night you can dress it up you can dress it down it's a very versatile fragrance it does have a little bit of a regal a feel to it a little bit of a dressy feel to it but it's certainly fine and right at home with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt or a pair of jeans and sneakers and a t-shirt or it could certainly be worn with a nice suit as well if i was gonna wear it with a suit i would probably go the no tie approach kind of laid back casual you know what i'm saying uh slacks and some uh, chinos or whatever they call them and some shoes and a, you know uh, a sports jacket and then you know the, the, the shirt kind of unbuttoned a little bit, kind of casual, relaxed. And I think this would be fine for that because it does smell good and it does smell of quality and a little expensive, but it doesn't smell um, that fancy, if that makes any sense to you. But nonetheless, from the House of English Laundry, Royal Aqua, as all of these will be from the House of English Laundry. Now, this next one, and I talked about $12.99. That is right there on the bottom. $12.99. I picked this up at Marshall sometime last year. I think it was when the stores had just opened back up, which I guess would have been, let's see, maybe midsummer, maybe, no, we I don't remember. Whenever the stores opened back up, I picked this up at the Marshalls in Corinth, Mississippi that I frequent uh, quite a bit. And it was $12.99. Now, I had another bottle. I have two bottles. I don't know if the fragrances are different as far as the performance and all of that stuff. But these are two different bottles. This one is see-through, this one is not. The ones that are not see-through are the older batches, the older formulations, and the ones that you can see through are the newer formulations. From what I can tell, there's not a difference. However, I do not know. I had this one longer, this one came in the box, the little coffin style box and all of that stuff. This one did not. As you see, it came with, I put these big old weights down. Uh, just a sticker on the back. Now, what you have with this fragrance is a tropical type of vibe. Nice, warm weather. Mm -hmm. Nice. And the reason that I picked this one up, even though I had an extra bottle, is because this was the hardest one for me to get my hands on. 
This one, and I think, well, I'll talk about that one when I get it. This one was one of the hardest ones to get my hands on. And this is a warm weather monster. Spring, summer, the hotter days in the fall. This one is nice. It's very tropical. Uh, it's a very, what's the word? Relaxing type of scent. Again, this is one that is very casual. I would not try to dress this one up at all. I would keep this one easy, breezy, cool, comfortable, casual, laid back type of scent cookout type of fragrance, hanging out with the guys, just doing something real chill, fun, nice, nice. And I did wear this to church a few times, so I mean, you can wear it wherever you want to, but definitely one that I think is most suited for the high heat. Again, English Laundries, Tahitian water. Love that bottle, by the way, also. Uh, which one? And since I was talking about this one, I'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. This one also was a hard one for me to get my hands on, and it is Cambridge Nights. This one is a clone, pretty much, of, is it Invictus, maybe? It's got that Ambroxany. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's the... <laughs> That's Invictus. I'm not sure whether it's Aqua or whichever one, because I'd have to pull those out to smell it. But it's definitely an Invictus y type of vibe. Love the presentation on this. The gold top, you know, you get a lot for $12 or $13. So go a lot of miles are like that white dot. And if you get these in the box, for those who don't know, I'm just excuse me, my head is itching a little bit. Anytime my hair starts to grow, I get a little hair bumps every now and then. They just irritate me. Um, if this is a, a, a clone of one of the Invictuses, if you're not familiar with the full presentation of these things, they are gorgeous. The full presentation is gorgeous. They come in a coffin style box that the top lifts off, off of and it's got like velvet, cheap like velvety felt like stuff in there, but it looks really good. And it'll have the crest inside the box. And again, English Laundry on top by Christopher Wick. Um, very good fragrances. They're very good fragrances, especially for $12. Now, if I paid what these were selling for retail when they first come out, I might be a little bit disappointed because honestly, they're not worth that price. But for $12.99, it's a win all day long. You can't hardly go wrong with them. I enjoy the fragrance. I enjoy this one especially. And this was, I think, the last one I picked up. Yeah, the last one I picked this up. And I picked this one up at Marshall's also. Different direction, east. I picked this up in Marshalls at Mad in Madison, Alabama. I find quite a few things there too. If you remember, that's where I found the D squared that at that time was still selling for 60, D2 squared that was selling for 69 or $70. I got it for 12 because they were too lazy to look it up. So it was just like $12. Now it, that same bottle is down to 29, but still 12 is still better than 29. But I got it at that Marshalls. Okay, another one. One of my favorites from the house that I've had quite a while and it is Riviera. And again, same bottle, same crest. Uh, great presentation on this one. I'm not sure where I got this one. I think this was hmm, either the second or third one. But man, that smells really, really nice. And Riviera is a great name for it. Um, it smells similar to something else that I have. I can't remember what it is and I absolutely hate when that happens. If I think about it, I'll either put a picture of the bottle up one of these sides. Um, but Riviera is an aquatic. It's an aquatic. Very fresh, very aquatic, well-made scent. Man, what is that? Let me spray that again. That's gonna bug me. Let me put, I got a scent of the day on, but so what? I got a new scent of the day now, though. Um, a little bit of alcohol right there in the beginning, as you're gonna get from all these, but it dies down really quick. Or as my science teacher would say, dissipates. I loved science in high school. Science and history were my two favorite subjects. And it's funny, as I let this die down and try to think of what it comes, what it what it reminds me of. I'll tell you a funny little story about Trey Scent. My English teacher thought I was a dummy. My science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> my science teachers thought I was a genius because I had A's in science and D's in English. And they were like, but you speak English. Yes, but I don't, I never did get the whole diagramming of sentences and pronouns and adverbs. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Plus it was completely boring, you know, but condensation and platelets and all that stuff was fascinating. So I did well in science. 
Okay, back on track. This is just your basic aquatic. Does it smell good? Yes, I really do. Again, one made for casual type of use. It's not a sophisticated fragrance at all, but it is one that people will smell on you and think that you smell good. Projection and performance on this though is an issue. I don't get a whole lot out of this one. I'll just be honest with you. I don't know if it's this bottle. If I see it out again, I may pick up another bottle of it for $12 just to see if it's performance on this bottle, if it's me going nose blind or whatever, but I don't get the best performance out of this. I'm talking maybe an hour of projection and maybe three hours of longevity. That's what I get. Nonetheless, it is a good smelling fragrance. Very clean, crisp, aquatic. Man, guys, that reminds me of something and I can't think of what it is and it's gonna drive me crazy. I don't know. Maybe it'll come to me. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna move on. But decent smelling fragrance, good for the office, good for the cookout. Anything that you don't want to blow anybody out, of, blow anybody out of the water and offend anybody. Keep in mind though, performance. Oh, and that smells good. Performance will be an issue though. But it, it is a good smelling fragrance. I kid you not. It smells good. And that is Riviera by English Laundry. For once, a fragrance that was appropriately named, and I understand it. Okay, so I've got those four out of the way. And I've got about three, four, five, six, seven more. While I've got my hands on this one, some of these, I'll say this too, some of these are EDP concentrations and some of them are EDT. I'm not sure which ones are EDPs or EDTs. I'm not sure if this is an EDT or an EDP. I'm pretty sure everything that I reviewed so far or touched on so far is an EDT. This one, however, I remember is an EDP and it is Windsor Pour Home and it is very, very strong, man, that smells so good. This is one you guys need to add to your collection. Now, man, that smells good. If you live in the South, your days for wearing this may be restricted to night times now because it's fixing to get hot. I wouldn't necessarily wear this on a day like today because the sun is out, it's bright, it's shiny. This fragrance doesn't necessarily go with that type of day. Now tonight, mm -hmm. what is this fragrance? It is sexy. It's a date night type of fragrance. It's mass appealing. It's spicy. It's romantic and it is strong. It is potent. You do get good longevity and performance out of this one. Man. And it's really, really nice. I can't think of anything. It's not necessarily gourmandy. It's almost like, uh, let's see. It's almost like, would that be a good analogy of it? I mean, I mean what? Let me put it on skin. It does better for me on skin. I'm gonna try to pull it together for y'all, I promise. But I just want to give you a good description so you understand what I'm smelling. Mm, that smells good, y'all. As I sit here with this, I wonder, why haven't I worn this more? And I think this is, this is the downfall of having too many fragrances. Because I have so many that are stellar that I just don't wear because I just don't get to them in time. And this is one of them. I want to say a little bit of honey. If you've smelled One Man Show, I think Gold Edition is similar to that. Not as strong, but similar to that. <sighs> but it's a good fragrance. This is nice. Date night, sweet, not overly masculine. One that's easy to wear. Definitely wear this on a date night. Not for the warmer weather. Definitely a cool weather fragrance. Can't really think of anything off the top of my head other than One Man Show. Uh, gold edition that's similar to this which is nice and honestly honestly I should have worn this more but yes one man show gold edition if you smell that fragrance and you thought man that's too strong this is slightly lighter not a whole lot lighter but slightly nonetheless still a good fragrance English Laundries Windsor Per Home and this is an EDP okay which direction to go next? I'll go to another one that I know is an EDP. And this one was making the rounds a few years ago. And it was extremely popular. 
but this is a clone of, of Aventus by Creed. Now, I'll tell you, they make an EDT and an EDP of this. The only way I know to tell you to be able to tell the difference is the box, because the box to the EDP will say EDP. That is the only place I know to tell the difference. Other than that, the bottles are absolutely the same. Yeah. And I found this at TJ Maxx in Florence, Alabama, and it was $12 or $13. But I had a gift set of the EDT, and I got it for like $19, $18 or $19, and it came with the shower gel, um, this size bottle, and this big old 125 ml bottle. Now, to this fragrance. Hmm. Something wrong with that cap. To the fragrance, to the fragrance. This is a, uh, this is one of many Creed Aventus clones. Is it close? Yes. If you have a fruity batch, yes, it's close. Yeah. If you have one of the fruity batch, that is so annoying. If you have one of the fruity batches, this is close. Does it have that smokiness and burntness that Creed has? No. That fruity pineappleness, sweetness that's on the top? Yeah. So if you like Creed and you don't like all that smoke and birch and all of that stuff that makes Aventus Aventus and you want the fruitier batch, this is it. It's the fruity batch with no smoke, no birch. Does it last all that long? No, it doesn't. But it probably lasts about as long now as the new versions of Creed Aventus does. So um, does it last bad? No, the EDP doesn't. The EDT, it's about three hours. This one is about five to six, which isn't bad. So if you can order this online or notice it out somewhere and notice that it's the EDP, is it worth picking up? I think so. I really do. I really do. I enjoy this fragrance. I think it smells pretty good. Um, has this been done a thousand times? Insurrection Pure 2. Um, <laughs> I have a, a Ventus clone that I think is probably the closest clone that I have, and it's by Gap. 1969 electric gap established in 1969 electric blue bottle that's a wonderful creed clone it has some of the smokiness um the one cheapo talks about all the all the time with the black bottle what is that thing called club de la de la man intense um the new uh black walnut legend by banana republic all those creed Venice clones so Find you one, but this is a good one if, you, if you're looking for the fruity, non-smoky type vibe. I'm gonna spray this in the hair one more time because it's really good. Put it in the hair. If I can find the item out, there we go. I'm gonna spray myself in the face. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Again, not the best performer though, but I wanna have a projection, four or five hours of longevity. And that is London, my English laundry. All right, y'all, I have got five more to go. I've got a lot of these fragrances, y'all. This is gonna be a long video. Notting Hill, and I, I've used about half of this. And this is a, man, that filled the air when I sprayed it that second time. It's thick in here. Whew. Now I'm gonna put some more in there. I like this one. I like I like them all, honestly. They're all decent, solid fragrances to me. Again, this is not inhaled. This is more of a masculine, woodsy type of fragrance. I guess this is English Laundry's take on that style of fragrance. It's not a fougere, but it is very masculine, very woodsy. This easy to wear type of scent. Nothing reinventing, nothing groundbreaking. And boy, does this bottle feel light after picking up those other ones. But nonetheless, Good little fragrance, and I picked this up in a gift set of four. I don't remember what four came in it because I've probably given most of them away as I gathered up the bigger bottles. I think it was Oxford Blue, Riviera, Arrogant, and something else. I can't remember. But anyway, nonetheless, good smelling fragrance, masculine, woodsy, you know, typical type of masculine fragrance. Nodding here by English Laundry. 
All right, let's go to big boy. I gotta get my workout on again. Arrogant. And that top does not want to come off. That's the, the one knock that I have on all of these fragrances. There seems to be issues with the tops. Either like you, you just heard that one rattling. This one sticks and so does the one from Tahitian Waters. And this is a little bit loose. For a fragrance to have good quality juice and pay such attention to detail with the bottles, they skipped a little bit on this and the top. But anyway, I digress. Let me put airing in the air. I don't know how I'm gonna smell it because I'm tell you what's kicking up. That um, Windsor is kicking up off this arm strong. A lot of people don't like this one. I've seen a lot of people say they didn't like arrogant. Strong, masculine, slightly powdery, but definitely a masculine strong fragrance. Um, I think you could wear this one any time of the year. Not sure about the name arrogant. I like it because I mean, you know, when we put on our fragrances, sometimes we can be a little arrogant. So I definitely like this fragrance, but again, this is their take, I think, on a very powdery, masculine type of fragrance. It's not saying that they're trying to be uh, Valentino, one more intense, or uh, a Monaco Profumo, or I'm not saying that they're, you know, trying to be those, or, you know, irisy type of scents, but that's what this is. This is a powdery type of fragrance. Does it smell good? Yeah. Performance on it is pretty good. I get about an hour and a half to two hours projection, four to six hours of longevity. That's pretty decent for a $19 fragrance. And this one also came in a gift set with the shower gel and the smaller bottle. And I'm sure I gave the smaller bottle away because I know somebody wanted it because it said airing it on it. I can't remember who that was, but nonetheless, I got rid of it. This many more. One that is very similar to Arrogant and is a really good fragrance. As you see by the levels on it, Signature. That's nice. Again, this is a very warm, masculine fragrance. Arrogant could be worn spring, summer or fall, I think. This one, I think, is more of a wintertime fragrance. No. Arrogant, they're a lot of light. Look at that guy on my hand. It's not a whole lot of difference between Arrogant and signature. Not a whole lot of difference. Not, not a whole lot. Now I'm gonna tell you that that Windsor is really kicking up off of my arm and it is strong and potent. It is putting that Tahitian waters which has turned down into a really sweet fragrance right now. It is putting it to shame. That Windsor is kicking up. Now I'm gonna try to get this in the air one more time. I can't really I've got so much going on. I... Man. As it gets on my hand or what I, no matter what I would spray it. This is a clean, masculine type of fragrance. It's not soapy. Not picking up on a lot of woods here. If you have Arrogant, you won't need Signature. If you have Signature, you won't need Arrogant. So rest assured. But they're, they're a lot alike. They're a lot alike. I didn't realize that until now. Those two fragrances are a lot alike. But when you collect a house, you will run into that. Sometimes you're just like, why did they make this one? And one of them may have been discontinued in place of the other one, I don't know. The last, well, I got two more. The next one is one I really, really like. It draws comparisons to, I think, uh, Arrows. And it is Oxford Blue. And it draws a lot of comparisons to Versace's Arrows. And it's similar, similar. I don't think it's quite as good as Versace's Arrows, but it's ballpark. And another thing I want to say, spraying them in the air is one thing, but when you put them on skin, you get a truer feeling because you get it moving through. And as that dries down or comes down in the air, yeah, it's very similar to Versace's Arrows. Very, very similar. In fact, I'll call this a poor man's Arrows. How much of that I got left? I'm about right there on it. So. You know, I have this, as a matter of fact, I remember now, I sold my arrows because I had this and somebody was wanting to buy it, so I put it on them. I thought, man, I still got um, Oxford Blue, so I don't need the arrow, so I sold it, but I've since gotten it back into my collection in a 
travel itemizer, but between the two, this is all I need. I actually prefer Arrows Flame over the original Arrows anyway, so, but if you're watching this and you see Arrows out there, pick it up because for some reason, women love it. That fragrance drives women crazy. So if you see it, you want to add it to your collection, go right ahead. If you see this, it's a cheaper version of it. Add it to your collection as well. I never came across a big bottle of this. If I do, I will pick it up and then somebody can get this one. But that is Oxford Blue from English Laundry and Versace Arrows clone by chance? I think so, good fragrance. Performance on that one is average. It's I want to have the two hours projection, which is good on the projection. Longevity is four to six, which is, you know, for a twelve dollar fragrance, it's good to me. But most people will say that's not good performance, but that's good performance to me. And the last one on the list is English Laundry's Crown, and this was probably the last one I picked up around Christmas, and I think I've worn this one time. Mm. That's nice too. Sweet. Um, reminds me of Polo Red, so to speak. A Polo Red Extreme without the coffee note. Yeah, is that what that is? Mm, yeah. Nice, youthful, playful, sweet, energetic, easy to wear. Date night, yeah. Springtime date night, summertime date night, yeah, fall time date night. I would, not a first date, but if you, if you were going on a repeat date with somebody, you know, you're just starting to date, but it's the third or fourth date, I would wear this. It's, it's very sexy, it's playful. It's not anything near like a um, Dolce & Gabbana, the one or something like that, because to me that's one of the ultimate date night fragrances. It's nothing like that. It's not gourmandy at all. But it is sweet, sort of candy-ish. And I keep looking at my fragrances are over here. So I always look just to see if I can get a reminder in case y'all wondering what I'm looking at. Um, it does remind me of Polo Red Extreme without that coffee note, but still nonetheless a good fragrance. And I picked this up in a gift set. Yeah, and I think the gift set was $19. It had four or five of these in there. All right, y'all, that concludes the House of English Laundry. Yep. So you know what to do. If y'all have any familiarity with any of these fragrances from the House of English Laundry, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. Let your boy know about it. Um, yeah, be sure to like, share, and sub. Always comment in the videos. Also, if I haven't said it in a while, find me on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. This is YouTube. Find me on Facebook, Trey Sense or Trevant Southward. Find me also, there's a fragrance group, Trey Sense Fragrance Reviews. You can find me on Instagram under Trey Sense or if you have TikTok, you can find me on TikTok, Trey Sense. That is it. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here, upload this video, go find me something to watch on TV. Until next time, hopefully, good Lord willing, uh, I'll be back at you tomorrow with another video. Oh, also, if you have any video ideas for your boy, let me know and I'll try to get to it. All right. Happy Easter. Happy Sunday. And until next time, y'all, God bless. Peace.